Hey guys, what I'm showing here today is um, fruit fly traps. Uh, we often have um, trouble with flute, fruit flies around the worm farms because um, uh, we have uh, pumpkin and vegetables and, and uh, stuff that they um, lay their eggs into the skins of before we even get them from the shops. Um, so I've heard they can be in um, like apple skins and uh, banana skins and stuff like that, but particularly when you have a lot of... Um, uh, rotting fruit and vegetables around you'll end up with uh, a lot of um, fruit flies um, so the, the the idea behind these traps is that basically you make a, uh, a reservoir for the for the attractant and you make a funnel type lid and the idea being that the fruit fly can get down into the into the trap via the funnel and then when they get in there they come up the outside edges to try and get out and you'll see them swarming around here around the lip inside the um, funnel there trying to get out they can't work their way back out the um, hole in the funnel um, so it's important to um, seal the um, funnel around the uh, where it joins back into the reservoir and you'll see there basically what I've done is cut the tops off of some um, soft drink or you guys call them soda bottles um, and uh, so cut cut it off turn it around the other way drill a hole in the in the lid there as you can see I've done um, and I'm just testing for myself here a few different attractants. Um, I have noticed that uh, I drink a lot of Staminade with my work, and whenever I have a bottle of um, what's well, Gatorade, actually, I think I, I use lately, but when I have a bottle of that out here in the shed, the, the fruit flies all like sitting around the bottle, and they're very attracted to it. The same with the molasses. I use a little bit of molasses in some of my feed mixtures, um, and, uh, and always find them um, around the molasses bottle, so I'm testing that as well. The, uh, what people usually say is an apple cider vinegar. I haven't got apple cider vinegar here at home at the moment. I've only got rice wine vinegar, so I thought I'd try that. And, uh, and a little bit of old white wine um, in this one here. And the one next to it is some um, uh, chicken feed. I've noticed that um, uh, I use this little old uh, food processor that we got for free to crush up the um, chicken feed into a crumble so I can easily crumble it over the worm farms. And, um, and I'll often find uh, when I leave that, with the lid on like that I'll often come back the next day and it's absolutely full of fruit flies in there they get in the hole in the lid here again um, see that little hole and um, and then can't work their way back out of the top and, and there must be something about the chicken pellets that they like the smell of so in these last two containers I've got chicken pellets this is just another way to make it you can make it with a little little container with a, a piece of cling wrap or forget what you guys call it um, a plastic wrap that you use um, in the kitchen and again just dish it down in there and poke a couple of holes in it or you can cut the corner out of a plastic bag and then put that down in there I've just got a couple of rubber bands holding the plastics onto those um, so I'll come back uh, tomorrow and the next day and, and see what I've found uh, the other thing is you put a little one tiny drop of dishwashing liquid in there as well the idea behind that is when they actually um, settle on the on, on the liquid inside is that the um, dishwashing detergent um, covers their wings and then they can't um, fly again after they get dipped in that sort of water um, so anyway that's fruit fly traps you can already see one flying around there I've got a fair few in the shed here because um, of the amount of uh, pumpkins I've been feeding lately anyway so that's fruit fly traps and we'll see how they go in the next few days thanks guys